For the next few days, we're exploring the town of Jaco here in Costa Rica. Jaco is known for being a surf spot, attracting surfers near and far who want to ride the waves. Both locals and international visitors flock to Jaco for its adventure activities like zip lining, ATVing, parasailing, and horseback riding, to name a few. Although this party town has a big tourism industry, we want to show you some of the lesser known treasures in the area, including our favorite spots to eat, sleep, and have fun. And on this road trip, we're with our four-year-old daughter and my parents, who have never visited this area before. And we want to thank Sony for sponsoring this video. We've been using Sony since we started creating content online like 15 years ago, and we've only used Sony. So in this video, we're showcasing the microphone that we're using. We've been using it for like the past year, and that's the ECM B10 shotgun mic that's currently on our camera right now recording us. Some benefits to using the ECM B10 mic is that it's compact and portable. It doesn't require any extra cables and it sits high up on our camera. So when we use wide angle lenses, the mic doesn't get in the way. It also has volume controls, noise cut filters, and it gives you options to capture sound from multiple directions. If you're driving from San Jose towards Jaco, you're going to pass by the Tarcolis River, also known as the Crocodile Bridge. It's free to see and totally worth seeing the largest reptiles on earth in the wild. A very popular thing to do on the way to Jaco is to stop at the Crocodile Bridge. We've done it a few times before, but the best thing to do here is to get a smoothie. And there's one special place that we get our smoothies at, and we'll share it with you. It's pretty windy here. How, how's the wind? We we'll probably put that on. Yeah. This is a wind sock. So this allows us to still have nice crisp audio even in windy conditions. So great for filming outside. Go. It's like a, a little jacket for the mic. Just gonna place that on. There we go. Probably sounds a lot better now. There's a lot going on in this area. There's traffic, there's smoothies being made, there's people selling things, there's, there's a lot. But we have our mic set to super directional so you're able to just hear me. You don't hear the other sounds around me. And we just got to my favorite smoothie place in this area. You gotta come here on your way to Hako. And I mean, they'll hand you a menu but you don't really need it because you gotta go for the Pura Vida which is pineapple, mango, and passion fruit, the sour passion fruit. So this here is called Maracuya in Spanish which is the sour passion fruit and it really makes this smoothie. It's so delicious but you gotta pair it with something sweet or it's just like too sour for me. So that's what that looks like and everyone knows what a pineapple and a mango looks like so I don't really need to show you that. All right. That is so good. Oh my god, sweet and tart. Rico? My god, it's so delicious. Safe to say the smoothies were a hit with the family. Now we have a 30 minute drive from the Crocodile Bridge to Hako. And once we arrive, we're checking into our accommodation for the night at Villa Wanderlust hosted by a friend we made years ago here in Costa Rica. Her name is Jai. She lives in this secret garden with her two dogs, three bunnies, and a pig named Jakarta. And he's friendly. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. She can like touch his nose 
and pet him. He's such a love. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Jai moved to Hako 20 years ago with empty pockets and big dreams. She's watched Hako go from an oceanside village with a dirt road and two restaurants to a booming hotspot with buildings, hotels, and vibrant nightlife and incredible restaurants. We're heading to this restaurant later. Now back to the pig, as he is the most popular attraction at Villa Wonderless. Good boy, Jakarta. You want to pet him? Look. Hey, baby. And it doesn't only have fur, it has skin inside. Look at these cheeks. Look at these big cheeks. We've seen pictures of Jai's villas before, but they're even more spectacular in person. She has put so much attention to detail into every corner of the gardens and the villas. It's truly an escape in a tropical Narnia. What do you think of this place? Isn't it so magical? Wow, wow, this is a special place. I did not expect this when we turned down a dirt road and then came to this like wood fairy house. She has enough rooms and beds to sleep over 20 people. So my name is Jai and we are currently sitting at Villa Wanderlust right now in Hako Beach, Costa Rica. I've lived here for almost 20 years and I knew at the age of 13 that I wanted to live in Costa Rica one day. And at uh, 20 years old, I decided to leave everything behind, quit my corporate job, gave everything to charity, and moved to Costa Rica without ever having been here before. And it was the best decision I ever made. Tell us about Villa Wanderlust and how I guess it came to be. Actually, when I moved to Costa Rica, it was not easy at all. I ended up basically living homeless <laughs> for a little while, living in a rundown shack on the beach. I remember sitting here at this table before I even purchased the house and I just had this vision of myself hosting people here. What started out as a two bedroom, two bathroom basic home now is uh, three villas with 12 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, two studio apartments, two swimming pools and a jacuzzi, and these amazing animals, the bunnies, the dogs, Jakarta the pig. I feel so much gratitude for everyone that stayed here uh, with us here at Wanderlust. This is my first time here, and it is a sanctuary. And I'm really excited that we just get to spend the night here. If this is your first trip to Hako, then you'll want to take this opportunity to do some adventure activities. Activities can range from as short as one hour to an entire day, and they vary in the amount of adrenaline you want to experience. In rainy season, we love to go whitewater rafting and ATVing for getting absolutely soaked. And in dry season, we like aerial activities like parasailing and ziplining. A more relaxed activity would be to do a waterfall hike or to visit a farmer's market. And that's where we're headed right now. There's a lot of vendors around us, a lot of people. I actually think we should turn it on Omni on the mic so you could hear all the sounds. Sure. I think that would be neat. Sure. Kai wants some carrots for the bunnies back at our rental house, so that's her priority. <laughs> Get bunnies carrots. Okay, put them in here. That's good. That's enough. Perfect. Look at the bunnies. You got that for the bunny? What I love about farmer's markets is you get to see what is in season. And it's always better to eat what's in season because it means it wasn't put on a plane or a boat or a truck and driven over borders. It's locally grown and that's the freshest food. It's part of why we moved here to Costa Rica. I have my collection of goodies from the market. We got some cheese, bagels, fresh bagels, carrots, and dill for the bunny. An avocado and a melon. Just a quick little shop. But what I love when I travel is visiting markets. It's one of my favorite things to do. I'm so attracted to it. And it's just like the tasting things, the smelling things, and also the sound. And here is extra unique because it's the sound of like, you know, the typical market, but also 
cicadas and birds and just like the jungle sounds. And we put our mic in omnidirectional, which allows you to not just hear me speaking, but to hear the sounds of the market while I'm speaking to you. It's time for dinner because we haven't eaten since our smoothies at the Crocodile Bridge. So we're headed to one of our favorite restaurants in the world, Sir. Their entire menu is plant-based and each item is incredibly delicious. It's off the main strip, so it's less busy, but it's just a 30 second walk to the beach. The next day, we stopped at Hako Beach. I got my best fur buddy here and we're at Hako Beach. You gotta come to Hako Beach if you're in Hako because it's the beach town. And it's beautiful right now. It's about 11 o'clock. The tide is way back, so there's a lot of beach. Great for kiddos. And just really nice, chill vibes right now. I'm all loving this. Work yet, work yet, work yet. What do you the beach? Oh, it's just perfect. It's just the symbol of, for me, the Pacific of calmness, relaxation, beauty, openness, happiness, freedom. <laughs> it is hard to leave the beach. So Sia's parents and Kai stayed back while we drove up a mountain to find a restaurant at its peak. Rancho Chade is a restaurant and hangout spot. It's a hidden gem known by locals and a lucky few visitors brought here by tour guides. From one side of the restaurant, you'll see rolling green hills flowing into the Pacific Ocean. Sunsets must be wonderful here. This restaurant is run by Doña Marta and we had the privilege of meeting her while we visited. She's been here for 21 years and bought it from her father who had it before her. She gave us a little tour of her kitchen and everything is cooked using firewood. Hacemos pollo achotado, empanadas, casados con pollo, con cerdo. Los domingos tenemos olla carne, muy sabrosa. Tortillas aliñadas. Y lo más especial es que siempre, siempre cocinamos con leña. Todo se cocina la leña y entonces el sabor es distinto. Un sabor muy rico. Hay mucha gente que le gusta venir acá. En tours, en cuadras, en carros, en moto, caminando, como sea. Pero siempre viene acá. Gracias. Oh, la comida. Hola. I got a cheese and ocado. Oh yeah. That's some fried goodness. I've had any ocados in other places. That's the best one I've had. Real Beef test. empanada. The Sia empanada test. I love empanadas. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that, that crunch, mm, that is amazing. But the main thing about this place is everything was made on a wood fire. So it adds the flavor of the fire and the wood into everything that's cooked. And those are our insider tips to how to experience Hako so you can come here and get a local's perspective of this awesome place. We want to shout out Sony again for sponsoring this video. If you want to learn more about the mic that we featured throughout this video, check out the description box below. We absolutely love this microphone. We've been using it for the last year and we can't recommend it enough. If you want more tips on traveling to Costa Rica, you can check out this video where we do Costa Rica for $20 in one day. And we'll see you in our next video. Happy travels.